how's it going on YouTube? Welcome to Fly Repair Guy here with another uh, video weekend update. I guess you want to call it. So it's me and the wife, and we're going to explain the videos that we shot uh, this week. Uh, the first video was good about changing the brakes. I was up to the gun. Uh, it just seemed that I went too far without changing my rear brakes. That's why you saw the condition that it was in. Uh, the noise has stopped. Uh, the only problem is I'm going to have to change the rotors. Uh, so if, you're, if your car is in a position my car was in, uh, I suggest you just change your rotors, but you know, I'm on the fly repair guy, so I drive the car, so that's how it is. Uh, the other videos we shot was the hill climb video. And uh, to get started, I'm going to want to apologize to my wife about taking that other hill. Alright, yeah, if you look at the, the one that was 36 minutes, I made it up by my, you know, by myself. I should have stopped there. Uh, full disclosure though, you don't want to be climbing hills with anybody on the back. Especially you don't want to be climbing hills with your wife on the back and you have kids. Something that, that luckily went the way it needed to go for our safety. We're both fine. We got a lot of jokes in the beginning about oh you do life insurance but as you yeah <laughs> as you see that definitely went south quick uh so that will be my that was my first and last video that i will shoot where i'm on an atv with my wife is on the back and we're trying to do extreme hill climbs that's never going to happen again don't ever try that that is dangerous and could have ended very very bad for us, our family, and everything. Do uh, you have anything to say about that? Check. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. We got lucky. Seriously. Lucky. Yeah. Uh, but um, the quad is going to the shop. Um, I fixed a couple things on it today, but I'm going to have to bring it to the shop. Uh, we definitely need new tires on it, new rims. I'm going to probably need to get um, a new axle again. Um, but uh, the quads will be out. I might shoot a video tomorrow with me, Ragdog, and uh, S-Dog. Uh, but we're not going to do that extreme stuff, uh, at least with people on the back. Um, but it, it was a good weekend of shooting. Um, are you fine? This is work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like I said, she doesn't have any injuries. I'm the one with the injuries. Uh, my um, left side is hurting pretty bad today. Uh, that's what happens when you flip a quad. And again, it just the, the position that she was in to where the seat was and to where the quad fell. She was able to roll out of it without getting the quad's weight on her. I took the weight of the quad. You can see in the slow motion video I, I shot, I was kind of underneath the quad for a little bit and uh, we were able to get it out of it. But um, yeah. But other than that, I climbed a, yeah, I climbed, I climbed a lot of hills. Uh, we, we, I did that and uh, you know, scared to death when it flipped and just glad that, you know, she's all right. But again, don't try that at home and never try that with someone on the back. That is definitely something you do by yourself with people. Or not pe at all. Uh, or not at all. Or with people not on the quad, but by you just in case something does go wrong. They can rush in and help out as you see, uh, Rad Dog was able to drop the camera and speed over there. Um, but other than that, um, anything else to add? Any videos that we got coming up? I don't know. I guess we'll see. Any projects you need me to do? Yeah. Like the, what? Like the molding we discussed last week. Oh, the molding. <laughs> I still haven't figured out the molding. Uh, that's really... All right, I'll do that tomorrow. All right, I'll shoot a video tomorrow. It, it, and when you guys see this molding, it's like literally like 
<laughs> not even the two foot section that I have to finish. You can't figure it out. I can't. It's one of the weirdest things. That molding has me going crazy, man. I just really can't figure out how to put that two foot section on. Uh, well, we got the molding. We got the puppy room yeah. coming up. Oh, that's right. We also breed dogs. I'm not sure. I think I alluded to it in another in a, one of the previous videos. Uh, we breed boxers. So I am going to build a new kennel uh, for uh, the birth of our new puppies that will be coming in. Mid July. Mid July, we're gonna have a new batch of puppies, uh, beautiful boxer puppies that we breed. Uh, but this time, I'm going to uh, replace the vanity downstairs. Well, I don't have to replace the vanity. The sink. Yeah. I'm gonna replace the sink downstairs and also. Uh, How about you replace the sink upstairs? Because the sink downstairs for the puppies. Okay, and your wife that washes dishes in the gross sink. Well, you have dishes versus puppies. Hmm? Exactly. That sink is not bad at all. It's in better condition than one up here. But the vanity that it sits on needs to be changed. You can't swap that. So I'm going to swap out the vanity and, uh, well, no, I can use the, no, I won't, the, be, I won't but, be there that day. But the vanities come with new sinks. It's, it's a full kitchen sink. And, and we don't have a kitchen downstairs, so I don't know why it's down there. I don't know why you would put a vanity down there. So that I can wash the puppies. You know, small vanities. Yeah, I put it in the bathroom the other day. Yeah, because you have the piping in the right place. Well, the piping's in the right place for that. Well, anyway, we'll discuss this amongst ourselves later, not on YouTube. But uh, uh, we are, we're going to, uh, re I'm going to replace the sink and stuff downstairs and also lay down the uh, matrix flooring. Uh, we were going to shoot a video uh, previously. I put the, uh, what is it, the matrix? What is that, vinyl flooring? What? It's matrix. It's, it is. It's, it's, it's a vinyl room. floor that we put down. Uh, vinyl planks. Yeah, vinyl planks. It snaps into place, and uh, it's actually real good for like waterproofing and stuff like that. If you have kids and they spill things, uh, I did the whole upstairs uh, stuff for the rooms. Uh, it's just that when we were doing it, we were going so fast and had so much going on that we couldn't film it alongside with the uh, stone wall that she had me build. So they, uh, there was a couple videos that um, I missed out on shooting because it was, you know, we were in the process of just getting it done. Uh, but I'm actually thinking about playing Stone downstairs. So we can shoot a video with the floor and stone, maybe. In the puppy room. So they don't chew up the wall like they did. Yeah. Let them chew on stone to see what happens. Why not? Because it's not sheetrock. Yeah, rip it down, put sheetrock, and put the stone on it. Well, anyway, I guess you're not getting that quad. Yeah. So the uh, the um, puppy room, we got some work going on. So we're definitely going to film that, and uh, that might not be this next week. It might be the week after next, or the week after that. Uh, definitely before the puppies come. We're going to have that uh, set up. But uh, other than that, we had a good week of shooting, a scary moment that everybody, you know, walked away from, thank God. Uh, and um, so, anything else? No. It was a pretty slow week. Yeah, slow week. Kids are getting out of school soon. Yeah. Oh, that's another, yeah, we, well, we should be having another quad mm -hmm. coming in. So, uh, we get the 10-year-old in the... Uh, well, he'll be four of at that by that time. No, he'll still be three. Uh, the ten-year-old and three-year-old driving together on the medium trails where it's more safe. Uh, but other than that, if you like our videos, like I said, like and subscribe. And after we do shoots, I think this is a good thing we discuss it a little bit and just tell you what you know happened and the pros and cons about our videos and. All that other stuff, but the do's and don'ts. The do's and don'ts, <laughs> yeah. But uh, like I said, if you like what you see, like and subscribe to On the Fly Repair Guy. And I uh, hope you learned something from my videos. I hope you were entertained, and I hope you'll come back and uh, 
Watch us next week. Uh, we'll think of some ideas of what to do. We'll probably do some more pranks on the kids since it's getting warmer outside. <laughs> yeah, we're going to probably think of some pranks to do on the kids since it's getting warmer. we got to hit the shed, you know, get something done. And uh, that's it. All right, so bye-bye, YouTube. Everybody's fine. Honey, can you wave both arms? So they can see that both arms work, bobble your head, your feet, everybody's good. All right, guys, we love you. Stay safe, stay COVID-free, and we'll see you next week.